Welcome back, my dear crime lovers. And this is a new episode of The History of the American Mafia, a podcast written by Fabio Fabiano, translated and read by Grace Cardlisi. I do hope you enjoy today's new episode. Today's character is Gaetano Reina. Gaetano Reina was also known as Tom or Tommy, who is considered to have been one of the most powerful mafia bosses in New York. His active period as boss was from the 1910s to the 1920s. It can be said that he was the first leader of what is still remembered today as the Lucchese Mafia family. Gaetano Reina was born on the 27th of September in Corleone, in the province of Palermo, to Giacomo Reina and Carmela Rumore. Giacomo, a field guard, and Carmela both lived in Calatafimi, near Palermo, when they married in 1891. Gaetano Reina, even before emigrating to America, was a high-ranking member of the Sicilian Mafia belonging to the Corleone Mafia family. In 1889, he emigrated to America and settled in the Bronx. There, in accordance with his criminal nature, he controlled various illegal activities. He was also known for his violent temper and his willingness to use the force to maintain his power. However, he was also known for his business acumen and his ability to expand his criminal operations into new areas, such as jerk trafficking and labor racketing. Thanks to his membership in the mafia organization, he held the monopoly of the distribution of ice throughout New York. He got married in April 1906 in Manhattan to Angelina Olivieri. Gaetano and Angelina had 11 children. Important allies of the Reina gang are those related to the first mafia family in New York, the Morellos. Their criminal interests laid in the neighborhoods of Bronx and Harlem. His most faithful affiliates were Tommaso Galliano and Gaetano Lucchese. During the Prohibition era, Tommy Reina connected with the Mafia family led by Joe Masseria and Ciro Terranova, Giuseppe Morello's half-brother. In 1927, with the arrival in New York of Salvatore Maranzano, one of the most powerful members of the organized crime, the first frictions with the Masserias began. So two sides emerged between the five Mafia families. They began to provoke each other, stealing their respective loads of alcohol and invading each other's territories. On December the 27th, 1929, Reina Ciro Terranova, Giuseppe Morello and other powerful bosses organized a dinner in honor of the most powerful magistrate, Albert Vitale. Reina is an ally of Masseria, Morello and Terranova, but when they began to demand higher incomes from him and his gang, he secretly allies himself with the Castellamorese's family, the Maranzanos. Masseria discovers his double game and ordered his murder. On the evening of February 26, 1930, Reina was shot in the head. The murder took place at 1522 Sheridan Avenue in the Bronx. He died instantly. Following a search of the body, the police found a gun and $804 in cash. After Reina's death, Masseria put Joseph Pinzolo at the head of the family, who therefore became the head of the gang. Pinzolo demoted Galliano from deputy chief to Capo de Gina, limiting his power and that of his men. A few months after Pinzolo's appointment as head of the family, Galliano and his most loyal, Gaetano Lucchese, organized his murder. Pinzolo was murdered on the 5th of September 1930 by Girolamo Santuccio and Dominique Petrillo with the complicity of Gaetano Lucchese. Masseria believed that it was his rival Maranzano who had killed Pinzolo during the Casa La Marese War, not realizing that Galliano and Lucchese were behind the death of his ally, who as a consequence became head and deputy of the family respectively.